This is the first time you guys are seeing each other since the villa. It is. It's our, it's our very first time. I know. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while now. I mean, since the last time, it was over a week and a half ago now, and it's definitely surreal to now see you outside of the villa. So it's, I don't know, it feels good. I know. It feels good to hear your voice. I know, right? It's like, I could hear you. On, I didn't even watch much of the episodes, too, when, when I left. So, like, I don't know, just to hear your voice again definitely is super good. And, and I just kind of erased myself from Love Island there for a little bit, just because I didn't know what was going to happen with you. And yeah. so I was obviously super sad when the day I got voted off. I was I knew we were growing something really good there. And so I was sad leaving, but I also knew kind of the connection we had there because I, I also saw your emotions and how you were feeling yeah and that's what's also really like reaffirming to me of like I knew what we were growing and started there so it also made me feel really good knowing that hey I do feel like this could be something down the road did you watch the episode I have yet to watch the episode yet I have not watched anything yet other than the fact that I've seen on social media I've seen clips of it so after you left um I was very hysterical, like really hysterical. I mean, Deb even slept with me that night because um, she didn't want me to be alone. <laughs> um, and the next day I was like really trying to be positive. I was obviously very thankful that I was saved and I had another day in the villa. And I was trying really hard to take advantage of that opportunity because I did want to, to see like if there was a reason for me saying like if there was a potential you know connection after you but then you know like people would mention your name and I would start crying or like the next day someone had to start a pot of coffee and it wasn't your coffee and like it was terrible coffee and I just like would set me off and I would be like hysterical and I've never cried over a guy like that ever like it really was heartbreaking and I tried really hard to be positive I tried really hard to uh, to feel something for Jared but I just don't move like that the episode before um my last episode I like had a breakdown because I just felt like so much pressure that everyone wanted me to to move on so quickly and I just don't I don't do that and I think like you leaving really put things into perspective for me uh, on how I really did feel about you. And I think I did need that week to learn, to learn that because honestly, like you leaving was the hardest thing ever. Yeah. And, and yeah, I guess I learned pretty early on of my feelings for you when the whole Sydney situation happened, it put in perspective pretty quickly for me of like, I really do care about you and I truly do want to make this work with you. And so yeah, me getting voted off that one day was super hard. I was a little nervous of like, all right, maybe she's going to try and fill the void of the connection we had of just jumping right into something. And that's why I was super, I knew there was some other guys coming in right after me. They, they did say that. And so they kind of got me a little nervous there right away. And I was like, all right, what's going to be kind of her game plan? Is she going to try and get a relationship going and try to make it to the end? It feels good just to know that it wasn't just for the show and it wasn't just reality TV, that it, it truly was a genuine connection in there and yeah it was only 15 days but again a day in love island feels like a week in real life and so like i we had conversations and connections and you opened my guard up which has been closed off for so long same i it was really hard for me to open up to people after you and i was like i don't even want to open up to anyone else and so ultimately um yeah, so when I was like crying, which I'm sure you'll see eventually, crying with Deb on the floor in the dressing room, I actually was trying to leave that day. And um, Deb and Courtney, the producer, um, talked me out of it. And then the next day was when we had that surprise elimination. And when the boys and the girls were deciding on who they wanted to dump, I talked to Sophie and Courtney or no, just Sophie, the producer, and told her that I was going to volunteer to leave because I just knew I wasn't 100% invested anymore, invested anymore, and I just knew, like, there would never be someone that I felt like I did with you, and it would be wrong of me to take that away from people who were still invested and still needed to find a connection. For example, like, Kat and Nadja had just been there for four days, so 
I knew in my heart I just needed to leave and that my journey had ended. And I'm glad I did because after I eliminated myself, um, Timmy and Isaiah did tell me that they were going to save me. So I knew if I didn't do that, I, I would have been there another week just still like thinking about you. I mean, I literally was like, like just kind of comparing, yeah, comparing everyone to you. And like, I kept thinking that they were going to bring you back. I really like, that's kind of what motivated me every day. I, I thought they were going to surprise me and bring you back. And then it, it got to the end of the week. And I was like, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. And so I just, I decided to make that decision. And like, I am really glad because there was a question I was going to have for you. Like, I do want to first off say like, I am very happy that you did stay the day I was eliminated, that you did not leave as well. I want, I was glad that you were able to experience other relationships and connections and see if we actually had a true connection and genuine connection. And so I guess my question was for you, did you ever consider at that time frame? would you have left? But I'm glad you didn't, but I'm just curious, was that ever a thought in your head? I did think about leaving. Um... But I think in that time, I just thought, you know, they saved me. So obviously there's a reason I, that I still need to be here. And looking back now, I, yeah, I probably, no, actually, I think I needed to stay that week. I think I needed to stay that week to figure out who, like, how I really felt about you. I think that just really put things into perspective for me. And yeah, it was the hardest week I've ever gone through, but ultimately it made me, you know, make really good decisions for myself and for other people. I'm glad you stayed in and experienced that and, and felt those true emotions. So I'm like, no, I, I well, 100% would have wanted to stay. I didn't want her to leave because of me. I know what we have. And if it's meant to be, it's going to be. And so that's why I was like, no, I'm glad she's doing what she needs to do. She's following her heart. And ultimately it might lead us back together. We'll find out. We're going to see what happens. Obviously, we're getting into reality now in real life. So obviously, I know we have a lot of tough conversations coming up, but I mean, exciting one as well. Yeah, I'm really excited. I know I made the right decision and I followed my heart through, through that whole process and stayed true to who I was. And I think really good things are to come from it. So we haven't got to talk a whole lot. I know. We haven't got to talk a whole lot. So I'm just excited to finally just you and I just actually have a conversation yeah. and go I, I've been killing me the last 24 hours not to actually speak with you so I know. Uh, no I just guys even have each other's real numbers we do we have, we each, have each yeah just we have each other's numbers but we haven't talked about anything relating to our futures or um really like my episode honestly so we don't we have each had important conversations. We'll say that we don't have Snapchats yet. <laughs> Any, um, you know, next steps? What are you guys looking forward to going in the future? <clears throat> yeah, I guess for me, I'm just excited to see you in person again. I don't know about you, Maddie, but I am definitely ready to whatever it may be, meet up somewhere. I am excited to see you again. I don't know when, where, but. I would like to see you sooner rather than later. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see you too. Um, but that was like the main thing I wanted to do as soon as I got outside of the villa. I was like, is Andy still at Pacifica? <laughs> did you know, did you know your mom sent me a message? Yeah, she told me. Mm -hmm. She told me and I was like, how? How did you send them a message? You don't have Instagram. And she was like, I used the business page. And I was like, oh my God, mom. Yeah, I'm excited. Mom's to stamp of approval. Yeah, my parents approve. My parents already freaking love you, so. Aww.